So I started this off by recording, designing some fabric for the cover, and this is how it turned out, but my software didn't record it properly. Next, I decided I wanted to design some end pages, so I got out my watercolor paper and trimmed it to 8x8. Then I grabbed my little pencil and sketched out a bunch of scary horror movie related designs. After that, it was time to ink the whole thing. I even went in and did some cross hatching and shading and tried to make it a look a little more vintage. Then it was time to scan. So then I brought it over into Photoshop and worked it around. I do have another video somewhere on how to make a seamless tile. I'm not sure if I've done one for Photoshop, but I definitely did one for GIMP. It's basically the same thing. You move your items around, you offset it. Then I uploaded both files and purchased them. I did the cover in fabric and the end pages on wallpaper. Next, it's time to make our signatures. Now, in order to have enough pages for all 31 days, I needed nine sheets of paper, fold it in half. Each page, each paper makes four pages, so there we go. And we just uh, fold them all in half. Also, I trimmed the edges, kind of like, I just tore them so they would have deckled edges. I didn't really want them like all cute and pristine. This is supposed to be a scary book. So then I just stuck them into my book press so that the pages would flatten out a little bit and then it was on to the next thing. I cut this little strip of paper to be the height of the book and then I just kind of measured out where I want to poke my holes. took each signature and put it in my little, I don't know, book cradle thing that I made and poked some holes in them. And now that we got all the holes, it's time to sew. This part isn't necessarily difficult, but I find it a bit tedious sometimes. trim up all the uh, loose ends, and there we have a textbook. Now we just stick that sucker right back into our book press, and bust out the Elmer glue, and put on a couple of coats. I think I did two coats. Once those were dry, I decided to add a ribbon so I could have a little bookmark. And then we just leave that to dry for a little while. So after it dries, I decided that I wanted to add some red construction paper for the end pages. Even though I designed wallpaper with designs on them, 
I think the wallpaper, I'm just going to do something different when it gets here. So yeah, anyway, I just kind of marked off like a quarter inch off from the edge with my pencil and then put glue on it and then added in the end pages. Super easy. As long as you don't get glue everywhere. Next, it was time to cut out the cardboard. This is a chipboard from the back of my other watercolor paper, and I'm just measuring that out and cutting it. Hey look, I actually got them even. Looks good, let's move on. So I'm not sure how many days it's been since I put in my order, but the wallpapers came. So now I know they appear a little bit dark and I had to turn up my light to see the design, but it's fine. Next is the fabric for the outside cover, which turned out a little dark, but not too bad. It's perfect. I think it's going to work just fine. I even got the sizes right. Check me out. So I got this fusible interface from like a thrift store, it was like 55 cents, like it was super cheap instead of buying it at like Walmart or whatever. And so I was just putting that down and ironing it on, gives the uh, fabric something to, you know, a little bit more grip for the glue. Also the interfacing prevents the glue from going through the fabric once you glue it to the chipboard because that makes it like weird and stiff. Ugh, no. Anyway, cut it out. So we're getting a little bit closer towards the end. It's time to add the fabric to the chipboard and hope I get it on straight. We're just gonna Put glue on everything and slap it down. Just gonna weigh it down a bit for a minute. So this is excess fabric and I'm just cutting it out to secure the text block a little bit better, you know, keep all the pages together. You see how the glue came through the fabric? That's what I didn't want on the cover, so this doesn't matter because you won't even see this part. It'll be glued down to the cover. Alright, so yeah, I'm just trimming up my corners, and then I'm going to glue all of the edges down. And now we can glue the text block to the hard cover. So I just set the text block in there, glued all the uh, cover, and then pressed it down. And once I do that, I open it back up and the end pages is stuck to the front. So now we gotta do the back side. Super easy. Okay. 
And there we have it. Put in some paper to absorb any wetness from the glue and stick it back into the book press for a while. Alright, so let's add our final touches here. Um, I just trim that up and then measure everything out. I did get it at a little off center right there, but that's fine. When we pull out our wallpaper, mark it, measure it, mark it, cut it out. I decided that it was too big and so I just trimmed a quarter inch off of both of them and then glued them on so there's a cute little red border. I guess it's not so bad. I don't know, I think it looks alright. So yeah, that's my book, and I'll be using this for my October movie inking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!